Okay, this is an answer to uh, one of my news correspondents who works in Canada who just bought the uh, Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2. When you first call up uh, Pro Photo X2, you see a whole bunch of screens. You really don't need them. I just X them out here. These are all of the different palettes, all the different suggestions. I don't even use this, I don't use this. And in materials, I use the materials that shows my colors. I don't use the mixer. I don't use the brush. I don't use the history, the script output, the overview, but I do use the layers. So I bring that up. Okay, you here over here you have the learning center. Now if you click on any one of these tools along the side here, like the paintbrush, well, first you have to have a picture in there. Let's see if we can open one. I'm going to pull in a recent file, the one I took up in uh, in Washington. Now, see here it is at 91%. If I use my scroller by there, there it is at 100%. Okay, now let's say because I've switched everything around, let's say I want to um, I want to change the size. I go up to image and then resize. Now down here it says percent. Uh, my correspondent says he changed it to pixels, which is correct. And now, it now is at 500 by 750. If I change the width from 500 to 400, 400, it's going to change automatically in proportion the height. And that happens to be 600. When I click OK, it goes back. Now, if I like it at that size, fine. If I don't, I can come up here under Edit pull down and undo resize and it'll go back to the normal. No, I liked it better small. Redo resize, okay. So that's one way to size your pictures there. Then when you save them, you do save as, and if you come down here under options, it'll come up with another screen. You say run optimizer. Now here, it'll show you how big it is uncompressed, how big it is compressed and you can take this compression value down the lower down you go the more kilobytes it'll take the higher you go the less it'll take however the higher you go you lose some of your resolution and your picture so it's better to keep it under 20 for absolute certain if it's already low resolution picture you want to get it down as low as you can and I can always do uh, readjustments with programs I have here so that's uh, lesson one, and uh, that's on just resizing the image. But uh, you want to have a big clean uh, palette here. You don't want to have all those other things. If you want to come, you come up here in palettes and say, oh gosh, I wanted to see that photo tray. Well, click on it and there's your photo tray. But I just take your X bar and click it off. This way you can see the whole thing as you're working with it. I hope that helps. This is just the first lesson for one of my news correspondents from BobShannon.org online news service. This is for Ron Rattray, our photo journalist up in Canada. And for anybody else who's interested, uh, I highly recommend Corel Paint Shop Pro Photo X2. It's great. All right, Bob Shannon, bobshannon.org.